For me, the major innovation isn't technological. The main innovation is pedagogical and especially in the design process. So the biggest innovation I think could come from layers is to, de to, de to develop design approaches which bring together people from end users, i.e. from small and medium enterprises, from training companies, people who are developers, uh, people who are researchers, and bring them together and start getting a design methodology using things like scrum programming, rapid uh, prototyping, whereby we can co-develop new products which meet people's needs. And that, I think, would be the biggest innovation we could contribute. The innovation is uh, on enacting people to develop their most professional competency, yeah? say in health, say in construction. So it's an, on enactment and developing the full competence in your profession and thinking of technology in that context, how this can be enhanced through this technology. New ways of collaborating, new ways of uh, uh, learning together, new ways of offering services to members of clusters and networks. From my perspective, Layers will show how we can not only uh, provide a tool to people uh, that allows them to share information, to discuss about information, to organize information, but especially also allows them to learn how to deal with the plenty of opinions out there, plenty of um, pieces of information out there uh, that helps them how to become uh, more experienced in a certain area, that helps them also collectively to become quicker um, to a higher level of experience. I think, you know, there are, there are innovations to be expected from layers. Um, first thing, and I think layers are already moving into that direction of creating awareness, you know. There's a, there's a lot of material produced in layers with different groups of stakeholders, you know, and there are seriously different groups of stakeholders involved in these processes, in designing those processes or practices. There are also different groups of, of stakeholders that need, need to move together in order to create the, pot the potential impact. I mean, the, in order to realize the potential for impact that we got. And in this, you know, the, the scaling is already in the title of the project. And I think, you know, the, the greatest innovation or potential for innovation I see is that we actually deliver on this promise. That in, you know, as opposed to many other projects, we can actually make a bigger impact by reaching more people. And I'm not necessarily all, all, only thinking about people using uh, a new app that we develop, which is fine. But I think that people who collectively actually change their practice in reflecting on what they are doing, understanding these processes and helping their organizations, institutions and networks design better solutions for the future. So this enabling, you know, activities, I think these are equally important and that's what makes layers. That, that's, that, that's, I think, what we can expect as innovations from layers um, in a practitioner-oriented view, professional community view. If we go into the research view, I would guess, you know, that we uh, are up for um, rigorous research, uh, coming up with um, theories, enhancing and expanding on existing theories, explaining what's going on in professional workplace learning. I think we can expect innovations there. And we can also expect more normative innovations on uh, how to methodologically um, study networks of people distributed over several organizations. There's not too much research there. Typically relies on, um, um, on, on quite simple data. And we are going to, you know, explore a more, much richer set of data, so a methodological uh, contribution I would also see. And third one, the more normative view of um, newly created technology that we will have in a design science oriented view, we'll have claims that we have for behavioral changes translating into positive impact on collaboration, networking, learning, of course, and on productivity and also performance on the job of people. And I was, would guess, you know, one of the most important things I, I think is that uh, we are, as a, as a society, I think we are moving from people collecting material to possess that material. Like, you know, we are collecting and downloading files to store them on our file server 
to a connected society where people would rather stream than download, but where people would, would not collect that much material, but the collection would be more consequential. Meaning, what, no matter what activities you are engaged in, data is collected anyways automatically about it. And the only thing that we need to worry about is how to make sense about what it means, you know, uh, this consequential action. I think that's a paradigm change there. Um, and if we can, you know, deliver on uh, a better understanding of how we shape that future, where, you know, um, lots of data is collected consequentially, then we are making a real difference here. Thank you. Do you think of it, things like Google, Amazon, eBay, in commerce have really taken off and now we've got talk of things in informal education MOOCs massive open online communities and there you are. but we've got this middle ground as I say the innovation is using people's bring your own device it's called Boyd uh, it's where people have got their own devices but you could also use them for the workplace so the innovation is really is, is to not overwhelm people with technology if they're not used to it, they don't, uh, but to use it in a smart way, in a way that helps them in their practice. So it's not right building a big monolithic system. The idea is to keep it lightweight and agile, but that fits in and it's not too obtrusive. It's a bit like, you know, the Sky Plus thing. Everybody uses it because it's easy. It became a big, big change in how we look at you know, the television and the same is the innovation I think we need to do in informal learning in small to medium enterprises using technology where it's appropriate, not where it's inappropriate, to help people. That's where the innovation is going to happen. So I'm an uh, engineering person. Uh, for me, um, learning layers uh, has, beside all this pedagogical and social innovation it will bring for the European workforce also some uh, technical innovations. Uh, I think uh, we can here uh, create uh, networks of media which are uh, helping us understanding professions much better than uh, we have uh, done that so far by um, exchanging knowledge directly from people to other people yeah, because technology helps facilitating this uh, knowledge sharing processes in the profession course professions yeah, and course language is much better than uh, people can do in the moment yeah, because of all the uh, limitations we have. Yeah, so uh, 27 languages, yeah, so different cult cultural professions and so on. So technology can facilitate this uh, project of, uh, of knowledge sharing and uh, digital media sharing and uh, so that is a big innovation for me. I think one of the innovations at one level is the recognition that professional knowledge is important and can actually have the potential, if it's captured, to improve practice. And I don't think we've really done that. It's very much of an outcome measure, and I'm not sure if we will be able to measure it in the project because it's too complicated. But I think it's something we need to grapple with. So that's one aspect. The other aspect is I think it's about building up from the bottom so that you recognise that people have views, have thoughts, and to try and capture that. Because even if we can't show this a change in performance, hopefully we will develop some greater understanding of how this tacit knowledge can be actually, actually captured and then used. So for me, that's the main aspect. Uh, different kind of practices, uh, hopefully practices that can spread. So basically scale and all go over the two sites that we have at, at the moment. And uh, related to that, different kind of such as tools, meanings and, and signs that, that then should also start to spread within the people that are involved at the moment. Yeah, I think one very innovative um, point is Transfer, transfer of innovation beyond borders. That's a very important issue for me because there's a lot there already or there's a lot being developed but it is not reaching the right place. <laughs> so I think that's something that's um, promising. I think there are innovations to do with um, how people deal with information because I think this is a massive issue and that um, actually it's quite scary for a lot of people, the amount of information that comes at them in their working day. And if we can help them to, um, to deal with that more um, logically and um, to help them deal with the stress of all that information, then that would be 
not only useful in the current um, sectors, construction and medicine, but in lots of other sectors as well. And because information and dealing with it, um, it big data issues, that's a, a very big issue for the 21st century, I think. Well, we see immediately some ways of recording experiences, sharing experiences that no longer need typing, no longer need sitting back and uh, keeping you out of your work process. You might be recording uh, while you are speaking, while you are driving. Some of these are the simple applications. Some are more complex ones that you get, uh, get bundles of applications, packages, system solutions that bring not only the work processes into a better order, but also bring the business processes of small and medium enterprises into better order and then connect them in a new way to their peers and to partners from whom they can learn a lot and with whom they can develop shared services, shared activities. Well, uh, the innovation is that we are now um, not only playing around with semantics, yeah, as we did uh, in the past in uh, several projects and with predefined ontologies. Uh, we are also now using uh, the social relations of the people, yeah, and uh, in this respect, we are building up a social semantic network, yeah, uh, which we can analyze then and uh, which we can also be. Uh, new pieces of software, yeah, as I said, uh, recommendations with, which will uh, take also into account the social relations and the semantic relations uh, and so on. Um, I think there are many innovations. Um, obviously, my background is te technical um, and as the um, progression of mobile hardware continues, and it will continue, uh, I think layers can add extra value to that uh, in terms of the software and the tools that we can provide and research uh, again for enhancing people's working lives um, and also to um, basically progress the software side um, and push it forward and push the boundaries as to what's what is possible. There are already various um, models and tools that help us do that starting to emerge but even more, we've been working with the teams to, to find out how it could be achieved. And so it's the, both the developing of the tools, but even the process of developing the tools.